Now, the game of the week, two teams with tradition, talent, and consistent results. Both playoff teams in the spring. 10 Sports' Eric Johnson was in Brookville, where all eyes were on the Patriots' offense, but it would be the Bees' offense that delivered the sting. Both Brookville and Patrick Henry are two high caliber teams that have no shortage of talent, which means the difference tonight would come down to limiting mistakes and executing at a very high level. Certainly a great sight to see fans out here at the Beehive yet again. The Bees paying tribute to fallen coach Scott Hunt on their first drive of the game by establishing the run game early and often. That's until PH defense got in on the action, coming up with the fourth down stop on that drive. However, Brookville's defense returning the favor. Tayshawn Butler serving up all sorts of plays tonight, gets the interception. He would turn that into a touchdown on the ensuing drive for the 7-0 lead. Then they go to the air. The return of the Mac, Drake McDaniel to Ethan Roby, 28 yards on a dime. 14-0 lead for the Bees. PH offense a little flat tonight while the Bees kept on a buzzing. Silas Rucker getting in on the action. Touchdown run right up the gut. They weren't done right there. Float like a butterfly stinging like the bees they are butler this time a 57 yard touchdown catch shake rattle and roll as he gets to the end zone 28 nothing lead at halftime ph would get on the board late but the bees take this one 35 to 15. we just always pride ourselves on flying around on defense and making up a mistake with hustle and i thought tonight was no different we made plenty of mistakes but our guys take pride on trying to get 11 hats to the ball and sometimes when things go wrong that, that bails you out First game, you know, first time we ever had fans in a long time. So, you know, it's had me fired up. I was ready to make some plays, make everybody proud. So I think this was a good momentum boost right here, knowing just knowing where we're at. You know, we got a new team, and it really showed us where we're at compared to other people. Of course, coaches are always looking for room for improvement, which is why Coach Meeks told his team after this one, quote, let's make this our worst performance of the season, which tells me good luck to any team that runs into Brookville anytime soon, especially here at Stinger Stadium. As for Patrick Henry, they'll go back to the drawing boards to have an open week early in the season next week before they return to action in week three. In Lynchburg, Eric Johnson, 10 Sports.